Welcome to your new home, H-03. Do you like it? Much better than that pile of dirt we found you in. H-03, is that that person's name? Welcome back to Redbeard RPG, by the way. This is Chained Echoes. I have some preparations to make. You'll need a hot bath and a pair of new clothes. How about you make yourself acquainted with this place? I will. Thank you very much, madame. What a lovely, well-behaved lady you are. We'll get along splendidly. Oh, you're the new girl, right? H-03. Pleased to meet you. I've heard you come, you're you coming to our class. Is that true? How old are you? Ah, sorry. You just arrived. I'm bombarding you with questions. Let's take a break. Without a break. Let's talk later, okay? Okay, and there's this weird, like, fuzzy edge thing going on here. It kind of seems like. Where are we? Normally girls arrive at the age of 10. So I'm in a place under a strange circumstance. Circumstance. There's no map. I'm supposed to make myself acquainted. All right, can't go that way. That was what I wanted to make sure of. I'm the head of scriptures, command hundreds of monks who've been writing the true history for decades. Now rest assured, the Harbringer will be kept in everyone's memory. Oh, oh what's this? That's a nice painting. Well, has the site already burned itself into your mind? What do you mean, sir? These paint there are paintings all over the castle with the same motif as uh, as you've no doubt noticed. Nope, literally the first one I've seen. Yes, a building under a giant tree on an island in the sky. Unmistakably the same place. You'll find this depicted in some form or another in every corner of this castle. You'll probably make several trips there in person. And all this just to say you won't forget this place. So that I don't forget it? No matter how many centuries pass, no matter how many times you are reborn, Sanctuary on Shambla shall be the guiding, guiding light in your memories. It's a place designed to last for millennia. What's there? You'll find all kinds of tools for your mission there, and you can make contact with the vein. Ha ha! All very confusing, isn't it? Don't worry, H-03. I wish... We're, we're going to need to come up with a nickname. We'll just call him Three, I guess, for now. You'll understand everything little by little. Super clunky to say. May I ask who I'm speaking with? Oh, God, how rude. I'm Timothy. I'm being trained as a teacher for the Le Lenar Covenant. Or Covenant. If you got any questions, feel free to ask me. But first, I have a question of my own. And what might that be? What's your real name? Is there something wrong? No, it's just I haven't been asked that in a long time. My name is Lene. Huh? Lene, huh? Well, there's a good collaboration. Thank you. And that's also Lene. That dream again. And was it Ed, my echo from a past life? That's why she picked that name as her alias. Okay, okay. Timothy, he feels so familiar. Are you awake, Lemme? We're almost there. Hopefully Sir Victor was right and we'll be able to find him. I wonder if he'll even join us. It's been three months since the blast. I'm sure Glenn has made his decision. Well, we'll see. Everybody get ready to land. It might be bumpy. Oh, we discovered another fast travel location. All right, so now we just need a few groceries. Pita and Henry want to eat pancakes, so I guess we'll have to buy some wheat. Leo wants some fruits. Might as well grab some bonanzas. Or does he prefer dapples? I've had enough, Glenn. Can I go back? Oh, it was your idea to accompany me shopping. I know it's boring, but please, I, please, I know the way back. 
Well, you're you're a big boy, so I guess you can return on your own. Nice. Until later. All right. So I need to pay a visit to the shop. So has Glenn figured out some sort of a peaceful life? Oh, I guess I just wandered straight into the shop. Here you go. Thanks for shopping with us. Okay, thanks. Now back to the children. Who is this boy? I haven't seen him before. Hit a beer three months ago. Almost starved to death, but declined offer of food. I bet he's another victim of the war. Probably. Anyway, he's living now in an abandoned mansion to the west. That spooky place all alone? Supposedly not alone. He told Parkas that he's taking care of some orphans there. How oh, is he now? Interesting. Okay. So that's the shop. We know we're supposed to go to the west. And King just keeps the raising taxes. Oh boy. So a lot of the places we've been to, it sounds like, were uh, kind of devastated. You know, talking about Basil and, and Rock Bottom being destroyed. Since a few months ago, the adults look so much more serious than before. Is it because my brother left? Mom says he had to join the King's Army. What does that mean? He got drafted, bud. And uh, that ain't a good thing. One thing if you choose to serve, but being forced to serve, uh, that is not ideal. If hungry, have a meal. Yeah, not really the same thing as choosing to enlist. And Volandis, who rules the mountains, rules the gold. Not only because Volandis is rich with raw materials, but also because of trading routes that lead through here. Some treasure. Wonder I keep thinking I'm gonna run into it like, oh, you can't go the here or anything. I assume my my house is probably let's check a map. Eh. I'm not going too far off the beaten path, I guess. All right. Sorry, I thought I heard something. So what have I missed out on? I can't go that way. Okay. All right. Hold on just one second. I'll be right back. And we're back. All right. <clears throat> Sorry for the interruption. The yeah, dog's not behaving. It happens. All right. What the heck was I doing? All right. I need to go south. I already checked this area up north, didn't I? I don't think I did, actually. Because there's definitely an unopened treasure chest right there. Clear indicator that I have not been there before. Let's head down to where we're supposed to be. Make sure we don't miss anything along the way. I'm assuming this is the big mansion that we took over to, uh... It's been three months now since I arrived here. I assume the orphans were helping, as morbid as the sounds, are probably ones we had a hand in creating. Or Glenn, at least. Alright, into the old abandoned house. An abandoned mansion. A good place to die as any other. 
Ah. Another nightmare. Looks like my body needs food, huh? I don't think there's anything here. I should just starve to death. There's no meaning to life anyways. Now Glenn's not doing good. Keep quiet already. Please help us. Huh? Children? You have something to drink? What are you kids doing in a place like this at this hour? We're hungry. We're lonely. There's no one to take care of us. Can you take care of us? Me? I don't think I'd be much help. Then we'll die, just as the others. I don't want to die. Maybe, maybe there's some canned food here. Is this like a flashback scene? Yeah, okay. That makes more sense. They were just saying like he's been doing this for months and then he's acting like he'd never seen those children before. Get off the swing. It's my turn. It's been 100 hours already. Glenn, he's been on the swing for 100 hours. It's not true. It was five minutes. Liar. Um... Hey, you need to share. We got to you got to teach kids that stuff. I would have, but you just started screaming at me. You already been in the swing earlier for 10 minutes. You heard what Glenn said. Fine, go ahead. I hope that doesn't have any ramifications. Oh, I see chests over there. Let's head that direction immediately. Some yak grass fiber. Mm -mm. That sounds good. Nothing there. Are you crying? Leo made fun of me for being smaller than him. Do you think I'll grow taller? Maybe. Only maybe. Well, there's some cool things you can do by being small. You could be a Sky Armor pilot. Because of their size to, and to save energy, only people of a certain height are being drafted. <clears throat> A Sky Armor pilot? You think I could be a Sky Armor pilot? Sure. Did you hear that, Leo? I can be a Sky Armor pilot. Is he Leo? No, that's Henry. Did you get what I wanted? Oh, boy. I don't remember what he said. Henry was pancakes, right? Awesome. Can't wait. All right, perfect. Do you know this whole continent of Galanta was overrun by... Renorus fungus and the people had to flee? I can't imagine seeing such a huge mushroom. Do you think that it's as tall as Volandis Fal Falfarin tree? I don't know, kid. This is, uh... I think it was like a single game designer. He made, he made some deep lore for this place. He was not messing around. Excuse me? Oh. How the heck do I get in that room? That room's got multiple treasures. I definitely want that. Seems to just be like a fallen bookcase in the way. Maybe there'll be something I can do about it at some point. How long are you going to keep this up, Glenn? You again. Are they the solution to your problem, these kids? You think this is going to make up for anything? I know it's not a solution, but it's the only thing I can do right now. That's not true. You could. Shut up. Why should I listen to you? You don't even tell me who you are or what you want. Or why I'm able to hear your voice. There you go. These kids. Your voice. Maybe I'm just starting to go crazy. That must be it. I'm tired. A new day. Can I really stay here any longer? Uh, how in the heck do I get in this room? Can I sneak in from this room? Oh, you can. That's how you get in there. I think I figured it out before we, uh, before we left the area. Because I assume we're going to be abruptly abandoning these children. I finally found you. What's up, Victor? 
Sir Victor. So this is the place you spent the last three months. Pretty lonely place. How are you doing? I'm not lonely at all. There's a bunch of kids here. I'm okay, I guess, compared to where I was three months ago. But tell me, why are you here? Just visiting an old friend, and Ah, forget it. Truth be told, I'm here because our battle isn't over yet. We need you, Glenn. Karn will not stop using the Grimoire against humanity. Lenny, Rob, Bathraz, and even Sienna. They're still on our side. We're not done with our mission yet, so come with me. What's a good-for-nothing like me going to be able to do for you? I've seen your fighting skills in Sky Armor. You defeat your opponents effortlessly. Then you must have also seen me destroy an entire swath of land as well. Glenn, it was terrible indeed. But do you want to hide here for the rest of your life? Yeah, I mean, that's not an unreasonable reaction to what happened to him twice. To just like, all right, I need to call it. Uh, this obviously ain't working. Like, let's just, let's just hang it up. Are you going to keep running away from the truth? Running away from the truth? No. I've been thinking for the last three months. I've come to a conclusion. You know, when the Grimmere first exploded by my sword, I wasn't to blame. Since And since I wasn't, I was able to hide in a hut for a year, try to push the images out of my head. I didn't know anyone anything. Now the situation is different. I can't deny the guilt, and it weighs heavily on me. I would love to pay for my mistake with my life, but that's not possible. My life doesn't belong to me anymore. It belongs to the, to the deceased. So what does that mean? Even though I'd like to hide from the world, I can't do that. I have to go out and help people. I owe it to the dead. Then will you come with me? I'm not sure. I want to do good, but I'm not sure your path is the right way. We can stop a weapon of mass destruction. You can't do any better than that to help people out here. I know that, but I'm afraid of making another mistake. I can't carry more weight. But you're not carried, carrying the burden alone, Glenn. Back then, we all made this, the decision to steal the Grimoire together. We're all to blame for what happened, and that's why we have to make it right. Together, come with us. So fate's going to give me another chance, huh? Could you give me a moment? Sure thing, I'll wait outside. Are you going to abandon us? Yeah, that's... Kind of what it sounds like. I'm not abandoning you. Then you have to stay here. We need you. You need me, but you're not even real. That's a lie. You're nothing but an illusion of my mind. If I stay here any longer, I'll go crazier. Look at me. I'm either talking to ghosts or voices inside my head. We need you. Do you? No. It's the other way around, isn't it? You don't need me. I need you. You are the lie I live with here. Because of you, we don't have any parents anymore. Because of you, we're alone. It's not your fault you killed them. Back then, after the disaster, I needed something to take the burden off of me. I needed a way to earn forgiveness of the dead, and I needed you. But now, Sir Victor has given me the opportunity to make a difference. I'm scared to no end, but... You can't get rid of us. We'll come after you, no matter where you go. We'll remind you of your crime every step of the way. They're gone. Reasonable decision. Well, I've still got you, I guess. Oh, man. So he was just made up the kids the whole time. Interesting. Here, have some chocolate. Thank you, mister. Sir Victor? Ah, Glenn, there you are. You can see the child. Huh? Where'd he go? Well, can't see him, see him anymore. Kids these days are surely fast. But how? Glenn? Ah, Sir Victor, I've made my decision. I'm coming with you to face the truth. Excellent, Glenn. First step is the hardest. You should be proud of yourself. We'll stop the Grand Grimoire together. Yeah, worked went so well last time. Ah. Two Sky Armors. That's X200 O Sky Armors. Models Paris and Merlin, Agamata, and Olivia. 
Are they ours? It wasn't cheap, but I knew you'd be happy. Sir Victor didn't spare any effort. He was sure they would persuade you to come with us. Sienna, are you really helping Sir Victor? She sought me out of her own accord, offered to help. Can you believe that? Am I not generous? I offer my airship and myself as a capable fighter and pilot to our cause. Isn't that a great deal? Most surprising. She didn't want anything in return. Sure, just laugh at my generosity. I'll get my paycheck somehow. Worst case, you will have our gratitude. Wonderful, I'm a woman that shops and I'll be able to spend this gratitude of yours then. Let's not dwaddle. The Helms Himmelskaiser is not safely parked. But Thraz, you're supporting us too. We have a contract to abide by, don't we, Victor? That's right, he dances to my tune. And you know I'm a pretty musical kind of guy. Get in the sky armors. Hammerscale is parked atop Mount Rydell, beyond Tarn's watching eyes. And we will use the airship to pay a visit to Lady Bran in, Winch in New Winshire. We need a bit of help from her for our venture. I'll explain, I'll explain it to you in detail later, Glenn. Let's go. Those are neat little animations. So here I go on another journey. I hope it's the right decision. That would be something else if it happened like at the end of every act, like Glenn just like accidentally murders a ton of people. <laughs> Once inside a sky armor, you can press E again to fly up in the sky. You can press Q to descend to ground level. <coughs> When switching back from fly mode into hover mode, some internal parts of the sky armor are exposed, making them vulnerable. Because of this, you cannot land directly on enemies in high grass that could entangle the gear or in water. However, once you're in hover mode, you can hover over the water at the same level through or through high grass. So, I don't think we need anything from him. Okay, it seems that's the sky armor is going to be a necessity. There we go. Okay, can't. Um, um. All right, what am I missing here? Let me down. Okay, well, I'm apparently stuck in the air now. Oh, okay. I'm just pressing the wrong button. Uh, do we want to bother fighting the ogres? I do want to ransack their cave. Uh, who do I got with me? Alright, looks like we only got four people with us right now. That's okay. Uh, let's, uh, psh, let's Yoko girl. Nice critical hit. Uh, they appear quite powerful. That's a little concerning. Or have a lot of HP at least. Maybe they don't hit very hard. Get everybody buffed up. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll do another Yoko girl. All right, there's one down. Now we can crank up the damage. Um, TP regen. Yeah, we'll go ahead and that just do this just really for the sake of managing our our overdrive there. And yeah, we'll go ahead and dark spear. Why not?
All right. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to be going. Let's uh, let's head back. Can I explore all the area I could over there? It didn't really seem like it. Well, didn't want to do that. Okay. Well, they're big heads. That's literally what they're called. Seem to have a lot more defense than the last guys we fought. And a lot more health. We're probably supposed to fight these guys in Sky Armors. Uh, I don't think you can switch to Sky Armor mid-battle, so we've gotten ourselves in a bit of trouble. Just a smidgen. And dead. And dead. Good grief. Uh... There's no run option, is there? Well, we're going down. We're going to successfully do a small fraction of their health's worth of damage. And that's it. Sad music plays. Alright, let's load our autosave. Oh, dang it. We gotta do all this stuff again. All right. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Let's just do this quickly. Fly over these guys. I want this. All right, that's all that's really in the area, right? I don't really need to fight these guys. We'll head back up, and I'll see you guys on the other side next time. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have a good one.